This is Michael Hall, and in this video I'm going to give a quick tour of the features of Quickly GTK. Quickly GTK is a graphical front end to the Quickly command line tool. It has three main sections in the interface, one that lists all of your templates where you can create a new project, one that lists the commands for the current project you're working on, and one that lists all of your saved Quickly projects. You can see here I can add a new Quickly project that I happen to have already on my disk. All I need to do is give it the directory where it is, click Add, and you can see here it's been added to my list of projects. If I double click that, that one now becomes my current active project, and you can see I get a notification telling me that. And it also gives me all of the commands available to that project, which I can again double click to launch those commands. In addition to uh, the window interface, there's also a indicator that you can use. From here you can switch to any of your other projects, and again you get the notification, and you've got all of your commands that you can run from there as well. And because of this indicator, we can also access this menu from the HUD. So if we hit Alt to pull up the HUD, I can run switch to the download manager. And now you can see I've currently switched to working on the download manager project. And again, all of my commands are accessible from there, so I can just hit Alt and type run, and it will run the program for me. Now that's very handy for switching projects, but that also requires that you actually go and manually switch it whenever you're changing your activity. To improve on this, I've worked with the uh, the Zeitgeist library so that now if you go and you edit a file or op even open a file in one of those directories now you can see Zeitgeist sees that I opened one of the AlgePy files and it switched my current project to that and again I can access that now from the HUD to run that current project and because I use Zeitgeist for this instead of iNotify it extends beyond just the file system. So if I open up my browser and I go to the website for one of my projects, it'll detect that and again automatically switch to that project. And that's the features so far for Quickly GTK. You can get the source code online launchpad.net slash quickly hyphen <clears throat> GTK.